You know, people are extremely petty, man. People are petty. I have to chime in on this briefly, man. Listen, I don't blame Ted Cruz not one bit. I'm in New York, and I know how bitter cold it gets here in New York. So, if they got a snowstorm in Texas to the point where toilets were freezing over, I don't blame Ted Cruz for getting his family out of there. He did what he was supposed to do. See, misery loves company. Misery loves company. And if he stayed in Texas, people expected him to stay just because of the fact that he's a political leader. But what did they expect him to do? He could not change their circumstances in Texas. I would have taken my family and ran too. I wouldn't have stayed there. It's just so happened he has the means to do that. Just like a lot of other Texans decide to pack up and leave with their families. Now, it's quite strange to me that people tend to forget Nancy Pelosi, better yet, the Democrat Congress went on vacation when people were suffering from the coronavirus. People were waiting on a little $600 stimulus check. The first time it was a $1,200 stimulus check. What did they do? People losing their jobs. People are getting kicked out of their apartments. People can hardly buy any food, gas. And instead of trying to approve a stimulus package, these people went on vacation. They took a break. So everybody had to wait until Congress came back to do their job. And even when they came back, they still, they still, had problems pushing that stimulus package. Just like Joe Biden says a week after he get in office, he was going to give you guys $2,000. Well, you still hadn't gotten the $2,000 yet, but he took care of the illegal immigrants. He made sure the foreigners were taken care of. So now you got some Democrats that's complaining about Joe Biden. Well, I laugh at you guys, man. I laugh at you guys. It's good for, it's good. I'm glad that you're going through this because we tried to warn you. But when it comes to Ted Cruz, I don't blame him not one bit. He did the right thing to get his family out of there. And no one with any type of common sense would try to use that against him. As a matter of fact, wouldn't you consider him to be essential? Being that he's essential, this man had to save himself and his family. So that when he came back, he was able to do his job. He's essential. So you remember all the churches were shut down, but yet the strip clubs were open. The alcohol stores were open. The liquor stores are open. But yet, the schools were closed. And remember, Nancy Pelosi got her hair done when everybody else couldn't get their hair done. The mayor in Chicago got her hair cut when nobody else could get a hair cut. And they said they had to look good. They were essential. So Ted Cruz is essential. And I don't blame him for getting his family out of that storm. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.